Good afternoon, this is Gail. Hi, Gail. This is Mike Lamb. I'm calling from Acme Products. Uh, glad we were able to connect today. How are you doing, Mike? How can I help Good. you out? Well, Gail, you know, our business is always challenging and we've been using Excel template uh, for our expenses in our office in the West for as long as I can remember. Our offices in the East are using customer custom app that IT built. <laughs> and this new company that we bought is using the one that came with their system. All right. They will be migrating to D365 FNO in the near future. It's a bit like herding cats when it comes to managing everyone's expenses, Gail. Well, it sounds like you got a lot going on, Mike. Um, you know, you're already on Dynamics 365 FNO, so you know, with the with the new company migrating in there, it sounds like you're actually in pretty good shape. You know, I think I think we have a tool that can help you out. I I saw that, but thought it was for just project management and accounting. Uh, well, you know, it's included in your licensing. It works independent of project management and accounting. It can also help out in production. You know, it, it, it kind of helps out in all areas. And because it's included in your licensing, there's no there's no uptake tick in the pricing. Nice. Uh, some of our crews are working remotely. Would they need a full seat uh, license in D365 FNO and have access to the system? Um, not necessarily. Uh, depends on on your workflow, but for most users, um, you know, the team license or the light license gets you in there. Uh, as a, as an employee or as a worker, they're able to submit their expenses through through the, through the mobile app. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah. Um, you know, would you like to take a look at it? I could. Uh, yes, give I you a would. Quick demo on that. All right. Yes, it's really challenging managing. Uh, some some people are using the Excel spreadsheets. Then we have, of course, a, an app that IT built, of course. Yeah. And then now we have this new FNO thing. So I really want to uh, see what the D D three sixty five FNO uh, mobile app, if, since that's the way we're going to be going for our ERP going forward. All right. Well, I'm just logging into my app here, and I'll share my screen with you. Okay. And. Uh, you know, I'll be able to kind of show you how the mobile app works and what the different tools are that you can actually do in there. Uh, there is some blog articles about it uh, on the website if you're interested in doing some additional reading too, Mike. Oh, nice. I'll have yeah. to go out to Encore Business Solutions and download some of those blog articles. All right. All right. So uh, looks like I got a few messages going on on my phone. It does. Okay. So when so firstly you download the app on on from your play store or from the app store and once you connect it the put the url and log into your environment you know any published apps that are available for you just come up on the screen so you can see that expense management is one of the apps that is on here when you go into that app area page within the mobile app then it actually brings up the different things that you can do so you know the f most people using the app would first capture a receipt. So capturing a receipt, you can just take a picture of any receipt that you have. And I just happen to have a Home Depot receipt handy here. Yeah. You know, I had to buy a new nice. lawnmower earlier this year. Kind of. Oh, fine. Yeah, when the oil starts spitting out through the air for breather, it doesn't work so good. But anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Try explaining that to your accounting department. Not expense. <laughs> Well, yeah, uh, you know, you probably wouldn't. Whoops, let's spell that right. Eh? Look at that. It even has spell check in there. Awesome. All right. So the receipt automatically synchronizes to the back end. So if you're offline or out of out of range of, of the server, it still captures in the local device. And oh, then it'll that's really up. nice. Because yeah. here at Acme Products, a lot of us uh, go out to our customers in very remote places. Sometimes yeah. there's not internet for a while, so that's really nice. We can do it offline. Yeah, so you can capture it offline, and if if there is connectivity, it'll sync up automatically. Um, you know, outside of the capture and the receipt, you may need to enter an expense. Um, you know, you pick your expense category, you know, whatever that is. So, you know, hey, bought some gas, put it in the truck. 
How did I pay for it? Did I pay for it? Oh, looks like that's just taking a moment to load. Did I use the company credit card or did I pay out of pocket? So I just select the cash paid out of pocket. And, uh, you know, um, gas plus. All right, put your vendor in there. And I put a hundred bucks in price of gas this days, you know. All right, and then, you know, if I have the receipt handy, um, you know, I can take the photo, take a picture of it right now, or I can choose an image from uh, a picture that I've already taken. I'm just going to take another picture of my Home Depot receipt here. Uh, I don't have any gas receipts around, so, uh, you know, but there can be some validation on the back side of that. Um, you know, the receipt that I just captured, it'll actually be looked at on the back side um, by uh, Microsoft Service for using AI to analyze the receipt and start the expense entry on the report itself. You know, so you can capture nice. receipts, you can enter an expense and you can even start your expense report directly from here. So you can see that I have two expenses for receipts and I can see historically all my expense reports in here as well. So you can see you get it, you know, full access to all your expense reporting that you have, right? Oh, nice. So. I'm going to create a new expense report just to show you kind of how that can happen. You can do validation on the purpose if you want. Okay, you can have location and validation on locations if you want. Um, there's a couple, this is just sample data. There is location set up there in here if you want to use it. And yeah, so yeah, so I can create a, so I can go in here and create an expense report directly within the app and choose from the expenses that I've already entered or the receipts that I've already entered. I'm going to click on new report, give it a purpose, which can do validation. Uh, location, which can also do some validation. I'm not going to put one in here for my purpose. And it's synchronizing to the back end right now. And if I was out of cell service or out of cellular data, range you know i could still capture this on my phone and then uh, it will sync up as soon as i get back into range with the connectivity okay so here's my the start of my expense report and i go on attach and you know i pick my fuel charge that i just entered and add that in there if i want if i'm all done my expense report at this port, I, point, I can actually go ahead and submit it for an approval process. So not only does it do remote capture for you, Mike, but it can also set up an approval process so that your managers, your supervisors, can actually do approvals for their employees. Oh, nice. Uh, so I don't have to the remember, send them an email that I have attached my Excel spreadsheet to it and let them know that it needs to be approved. No, none of that goes on anymore. Awesome. Yeah, so I go back to my main screen here. Um, you know, I can drag down and do a refresh. I'll see a new expense report pop in here as soon as the synchronization is done. But I don't have to wait for that. I can just continue on. The other thing that I can do in here is you can actually, if I am a supervisor manager, then I can, if I have something that's pending for approval, it'll show up there under approve expense reports. You know, um, so it's pretty versatile. It works pretty quick. Uh, we've implemented it for a couple of customers now. It's relatively new. Uh, you can pick and choose which fields you want on your expense capture, um, you know, with new nice. functionality. The, you know, um, I'm gonna jump to my F&O screen here for a second and just show you kind of how these things come across on the other side. So this is the, the, the sandbox environment that I have set up for doing my expense report testing. And underneath the modules, I have uh, expense, expense management, and there's a workspace for that. So either from the workspaces or from the modules, I can access my expense management workspace. And within here, oh, hey, there's that report I just uh, submitted for review. I can drill into it and uh, see the status of it. I can see the status on my mobile app. I can see what that is for. And if I wanted to, I can actually open up my receipt for viewing as well. All right. And this is integrated right into finance and supply chain management and F&O. So 
the accounting folks should be a lot happier too then oh yeah absolutely as soon as soon as this goes through the approval process either you can have like a finance approval on it uh, where they actually do the posting uh, to the vendor record or to the accounts that you're using for clearing um, and or you can actually set up an automatic post as well so that as soon as the approval process is complete it just actually posts so they won't have to re-enter from the excel spreadsheet or do the integration from the it application that my company created or it department so this would be a lot a lot more streamlined well save accounting yeah, it, if, if if your Let people are doing if your people are doing re-entry and, and yes one uh, integration gets work the, gets the like, spreadsheet and rekeys it into our accounting system today and then uh, the other the other division I'm in, uh, we have the IT application expense management, but they have to do a, a sync integration into uh, the the accounting system. So it takes a little bit to do that also. So it's not real time with, with our accounting group. So I imagine our accounting folks would be very happy about this. It, it sounds like your finance might be experiencing some pain around this already. Yes, um, you know, from a finance perspective or from an approver perspective, you know, you go to all expense reports, you can see the ones that are there. Um, you know, if if I'm the approver on this, then I would just jump in here and actually do oh, nice. my approval. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, your approvers might need a little bit of, uh, you know, the full license, but they're probably in the system with a full license already anyhow. So, uh, you know, I don't see an incremental license mm -hmm. fee there either. No, I, I've i heard that all of our division managers will have uh, licenses for finance and supply chain. So they should be okay to approve in here. Yeah. Their team's expense reports. So this will be really good. Yeah, um, you know, for your executive that are just throwing a box, shoe box full of receipts onto their EA's desk and saying, hey, figure out my expenses for me. You know, there's some tools in here to make it easy for them mm. too. Um, you know, the the AI portion that is um, doing the, the, the Microsoft service that is doing the OCR or AI uh, recognition, you know, it's pretty straightforward to set up. You come into the parameters, automatic receipt capture, you do the configuration, set your time, how often do you want it? And that'll actually take a look at scanned receipts mm -hmm. as well as photos. And, oh, nice. and then it, it starts doing the entry for you. And then uh, for, for that EA, you just delegate them on that ex executive, and then they can just go into their expense reports under the workspace choose the user that they're actually doing the expense report for and manage the expenses all within the one interface. So, hey, if you can convince your Very executive at, to at least capture a picture of the receipt, you yes. know, it's tough to get them yes, to sir, do that administrative task. That and, and I know their <laughs> assistants will be very happy <laughs> not having yeah. them yeah. go so through all you, the receipts manually. So, yeah, so you know, if they're capturing, if they capture it with a picture, put in a one word uh, description, then that makes life a lot easier for that EA. You know, so Excellent. I, you know, I, I think we have something that will, can really work for you, Mike. So, yes, you know, it, it sounds like it. Yeah. Um, you know, the next step on this would be really reach out to your account manager. Uh, you kind of seen it already. If you wanted a more structured demo, we could set that up. And if you want to just jump right in, you already have the FNO licenses, so why not? Sounds good. Yes, I'll be reaching out to my Encore Business Solutions uh, account executive here to get something set up with you guys. This this could really save the company a lot of time and heartache and tracking down loose receipts all the time. Yeah. And standardize on one expense management solution going forward. So that would be really good. No, I like the way you're thinking, Mike. That's good. All right. You well, thank questions? you for your time. All right. Well, reach out if you have any additional questions, and uh, we'll be in we'll touch do. soon. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gail. Okay. Have you later. a great day. All right. Oh, bye. Bye.